hi folks in this video we'll discuss about uh, tokenization of uh, connection string sql connection string using uh, tfs build and release management so basically when we have different uh, environments and we want to deploy application in those environments we have to change the connection string in web.config file right every time we deploy like say we have a dev environment qa and production so there are different connection strings for each of the stages so you know generally we have three web.config files and we do all the copy paste things whenever we deploy to all these different environments so here let's see how tfs build with release management can help us easily do that job so what i have is i've got three stages i can say okay so dev qa and production so basically i'm using the same machine so that's why i have you know created three websites with different ports to show the difference plus each of these uh, you know website will have a different sql connection string they will be connecting to different database so if i go to dev so it is with the 8000 port and it is connecting to you know demo dev db database whereas qa it is connecting to demo qa db and production the other database and also it is getting the values from that database the i mean the tables in that database right so let's see go to the database I have got three databases here demo dev db qa and production so let me go to the tables and let's say view so just a you know uh, sample uh, table with uh, one column i have created just show the difference here so let me go to the production same way let me go to the qa also okay so qa db so it has a text called this is a qa db and uh, whereas production this is product prod db and this is a dev db so there are three different databases which has got tables and different values and we'll see how in visual studio we can configure those things and get the different values every time we deploy in the different stages so let me go to web.config file here and i have the connection string so initially i am connecting to dev db right then i have got one more uh, app setting just a key and a value thing okay so how i am using these two in my application so let me see here so in this page label to dot text i'm assigning a value from the app setting which has the name demo right so it should show as a dummy the display whereas the connection string name demo db i'm using here and i'm opening the connection i have written the same query select text from text table then read it so when i run this it will show me the details of the dev db so you can see it shows this dev db and this string is dummy right the value so now let's see how when i deploy it in these three different environments what values it will show okay and for that what i have done is i have created a copy of web.config file and named it as web.config.token so this is a token file okay so now in this file the same two connection uh, i mean i can say connection string and app setting instead of the actual values i've just given a variable here so double underscore the name and double underscore so prefix with double underscore and postfix with double underscore that is your tokenization variable so this will be recognized in your build and release management so instead of the actual value i have given 
underscore double underscore demo and same here I am given same so instead of dummy it should actually show whatever data I'll put it in uh, release management now let me go to the release management so I'll go to the configure apps so this is my release template so here I have given all the tasks like remove website copy and all the stuff then I have this main section call web this is a component that's a uh, x copy uh, deployer let me go and edit and show the what is a component so what it does it copies the output from this particular location that is the build drop location and underscore public website and demo app so I have a you know, build definition called as demo app so from that I'm you know copying the things and if I go to the xcopy deployer so I have an argument called installation path yes then configuration variable in this I have a variable called as demo and it will file extension filtering it will search for star.config file okay now this component is used in demo to release template and if I go to the properties of demo to release template it is assigned to a team project fabricum fiber and build definition demo app so if I come to team explorer fabricum fiber team project so I have a demo app build definition so whenever uh, you know the build is triggered so release happens on the first environment here okay now coming to the demo variable so here I'll be actually men mentioning the connection string for that stage so for de dev stage I have this demo dev db so this is the development database if I go to the QA I have the connection string for you can see that demo QA db same thing for production so here I'll be entering the proper connection string so it's easy to like whenever the connection string changes I can just enter here and the rest of the things will be taken care by the tool so this is my so rest of the other things are remain same like creation of a website the different ports so for production I'm saying 7000 port for QA it is 8000 sorry 9000 port and for dev it is 8000 port so I'm creating website with different ports just to do you know show the differentiation between these three environments now let's do one thing let's go and change the values in these uh, databases so let me start with the dev so let me go and say edit so this we have already seen this is dev db right with the connection string and qa and production db so let's go and change so i'll just say this is for demo right so let me say this is dev db this is for demo same thing let me do for all other things so if i execute so it gives this value right so let me go for production then again for qa also let me say secure now I've changed the values now let me go and start the deployment maybe let's say I'm doing some changes here also let me just change some string here then go for pending changes and check in so as soon as I check in build should be triggered because it is continuous integration and the deployment should happen so let's check that check in now we can see the build is triggered so I can see that 
and it's renaming the files. So what it does is it will find these settings, you know, those uh, variables and it will rename the web.config.token file to web.config file with the configured value. So now it is doing the release and if I come here to the release management, I'll be able to see that. I go to the releases. So you can see it says in progress. Let me double click and open. So it has done all the things, right? Now Brian has to approve it. So I have logged in as Brian here. Okay, if I just refresh, so it gives it should give me one approval. So before that, let me go and check the dev environment. So this is my dev environment, and this was the data. Once I change, it should give me a different value. So you can see that this is for video demo plus I've changed this value also. Now if I go and refresh here, yes, it will show the new value, but that other text I had entered it is not there. So let me deploy it first. So as a brand, I'm going to approve this release so that it will go and deploy in QA now. So if I go here, so let's see what is the stage. So it is removing the website now. So now calling that component which will alter the you know the variables then creating a website and it's done so now next is the owner julia has to approve this release so let me log in as julia now so from dev to qa it is moved and julia will approve it and you can see now it is in production except the deployment so as admin let me accept the deployment and say approve and deploy it now so now the de deployment ha happens on the production in the meantime let's see on the QA whether it is deployed or not yes it is getting the the value from the QA DB let's see what's happening in the production still it is not yeah it's still deploying you can see it is still deploying now it's removed the website copying the backup folder then it has called this component call web yeah now it is creating the site and it's done so let me Go and access the site and check. Yes, so the new data is coming and it's picking the value from the production DB. So this is how we can even do web, web config tokenization. So what we did, created a new file called as web.config.token so it's a copy of web.config file and i'll remove all the other parts and rename it as web.config.token right then instead of these two values i'm going to give a variable name for connection and value i'm going to give a variable name as double underscore and any name okay and once it is done, I'll go to release management, then go to configure apps, or rather I can go to say components, and in the component, I'm going to configure variables and just declare this variable here. And in the template, I'm going to specify the actual value. So for different stages, different value. For dev, I'm saying it should connect to this database. 
demo dev db qa it's again another database right and same way for production also right once i am done whenever i trigger a build it should go and talk to the release management i just want to show you here so in this process tab i've used a release template so which is a default release template that's it so whenever i do modification and check in so continuous integration happens and even continuous deployment happens to all the different stages thanks for watching this video